welcome to my channel today we will talk about the approval automation how it's going to work one of the user commented in my video and he asked uh, how we can do the automation of approval many times uh, if you are working in the ticket it's required to get the approval from your another uh, like the project lead okay it's required from the developers or from another senior member etc so how we can do that kind of automation today we will learn so first i will show you how it's working if you are looking for the same then uh, i will provide you the process if you are looking for any other change please let me know okay this is the my project this is the issue type next uh, provide no. approval testing and a go down click on create this ticket got created okay first of all i will get approved waiting for approval this is i will show you the workflow you can change your workflow totally totally depends on you so first i am creating the ticket it will be the to do after that it will ask for waiting for approval once um, one user will approved then it will go to in progress approve in progress then it will close then you can reopen also uh, so totally depends on you how you are looking for okay so first of all this is the ticket if you click on the waiting for approval before that let's me assign to the ticket to myself i have assigned the ticket as you can see waiting for approval who is going to be approval so this is the multi select field multi user select field if you want a single select you can be the single select also so for me i am having this user jira kt waiting for approval i have changed for waiting for approval now i cannot see approved one only one of the user can see and whenever you are changing to it it will send the notification to that user also a specific user only not for all the user so this is the mail id okay uh, it will take 1 to 2 minute uh, till now till that let me change it okay jira kt click on switch okay come here refresh the page you see i only can see the approved because i logged in as a jira kt jira kt only okay come here you only can approve the ticket you will get notification also okay let me approve the ticket once you will approve the ticket then who just go back to the admin okay go to the ticket approval testing i am the assignee now i can start working on the ticket once the working will done then i will close the ticket okay so this is totally uh, automation it's going to work like this so what we are doing only a specific user can approve the ticket we are not creating any group and all if you want the group things so you can use the group things also i am using the field based because sometimes if you are using the group one so it's going to uh, be like uh, you need to create a multiple groups for different project but if you are creating the field you can add uh, different members in the same field okay like sometimes you need only from the project lead then only one user will come sometimes you need the approval from the uh, scrum master maybe there are two scrum master are there or you need a senior member approval then the three members are there so totally you can use the dynamically field it will work like a dynamic for you okay you will get the notification also let me keep refreshing see this refer mail came right open this one see hi we need your approval in this ticket approval please approve the ticket by changing the status to approved thanks and regards who is sending jira sme who is jira sme jira sme is the assignee so like this it will send the notification also now how we can achieve it the all these things 
first go to issues go to custom fields here i have already created one field that is approval field here it's the user pick up multiple okay click on all user picker multiple user field so i have created multiple user picker field okay this is the one thing another thing go to the project setting means the workflow workflow in this workflow go to workflow for jira test run click on edit what i need i i have added that field in this transition screen means it's pop up screen approved screen as you can see that field so if you are creating any other field then it's already there then you can use the same field over here in this screen after that in this one i have added the condition means only those specific user can see this button not other user cannot see okay click on condition i have the only user selected field this which this is jwt click on condition search for field okay go down only users in a field i have used this one click on if you are using any other then you can use totally depends on you see only in this group only in a specific user there are many type of there if you click on it you just you need to select for the field approval just click on it and click on add okay once it's done for sending the email notification i have used the post function okay where in this only waiting for approval go to the post function i am using the jwt only okay email so email this is so you can use so there are n number of script runner is also providing so i have used this one so i am going to provide this one only click on add okay based on on it given no need to change anything just go down in the recipient just click here add field con containing users okay here which field you need approval field which i have created in this you can use field codes just click on that whatever i like if you want key key waste like my mail uh, let me show you mail again see we need your approval in this one so what is this need update need your approval in this trigger okay so here you can add like this need your approval in the ticket here click on just search for the key issue key okay just click on abc like this whatever the body you want just type the body and click on add so it will create this uh, notification also the post function it will create it so what we have done we have created the custom field okay the multiple user select field we have added that field in this transition screen we have added the post function in this one only and we have added the condition on this approved one so only of some approval only can select it if there are n number of users are there like 5 for user or 10 users are there you can add all 10 users okay and uh, those 10 users will add it and any of the 10 users can approve it so it will send the notification also so this is the uh, how we can do the automation for this approval one thank you for watching